What's up, YouTube? It's RTS Firebat. Now, uh, we've recently had some controller support added into Mech Arena. Now, one of my clan mates was having a few problems getting this uh, set up and working, so I figured I'd do a quick guide on it. Now, all you're going to be needing is, uh, you need yourself an Xbox wireless dongle for Windows, and, of course, you need yourself an Xbox controller as well. This is my Series X controller. Now, what you want to simply do is, because it's on Windows 10, or if you're on Windows 11, it is plug and play. So just plug that in. And then if we come and have a look on Device Manager, what you're expecting to see is this, the Xbox wireless adapter for Windows. Now, to get these two bad boys synchronized together, all you need to do is press and hold the button on the back of the dongle and wait for it to start flashing. There we go. And then you want to power on the Xbox controller and then press and hold the sync button on the back. Wait for it to rapidly start flashing. Let go. And you should see that both lights are then stable. Now, if we head on over to my desktop, I'll show you how easy it is to get started with this in Mech Arena. Now, once you're into the actual game, you don't actually have to make any further adjustments in regards to the controller layout. If we just come over to the profile and go to controls, you can see you have a few additional options now available. You can change the sensitivity of the actual controller. It's 50 by default. I changed it down to 40 because I found it a bit too sensitive when moving the actual crosshair. If you want, you can also invert the actual axes as well. Now, if we just come on up here and go to customize, You move with the left hand thumbstick and you can move the crosshair using the right hand thumbstick. To fire your weapons, it's left and right trigger. To use your ability, just hit the A button. And to reload, use the left and right shoulder buttons. Now for sprinting, hold down the left thumbstick and you'll get a bit of a sprint. And the last thing which I can't show you is how you can track your target because if you hit the X button during this, it quits you out of it. I don't think that's intended but it is what it is. In the next video uh, we'll jump into free for all mode and uh, we'll give it a go and see how well it plays. Right, cheers for watching everybody. I hope you liked the video. Give it a like, subscribe, comment, share and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!